This is a Witch Space News Supplemental. I'm Commander Burr. We are heading into spoiler territory in regard to the 2020 update so if you're sensitive to that stuff then look away now. It seems at this point that the worst kept secret in all of Elite history is all but confirmed. Yesterday Reddit user Torngate posted a screenshot of the metadata tags from the website arcs.elitedangerous.com and at that time the description in the metadata was stating that you could use arcs to buy quote customizations for your commander, ships, SRVs, fighters, weapons and buildings. If you're unfamiliar with the significance of this then here's a quick potted history. Earlier this year a supposed roadmap covering some of FDEV's internal builds was leaked onto the website 4chan. Mentioned in the roadmap were titles like Planet Zoo prior to the game being officially announced as well as the Ghostbusters DLC for Planet Coaster and some DLC for Jurassic World. All have since been confirmed as genuine. Also included in the roadmap were details of the content for the 2020 update of Elite Dangerous. The leaked roadmap stated that the 2020 update was a space legs expansion with a first person shooter element, base building and first person Thargoids. This latest metadata leak on the Elite Dangerous website states that we'll be able to use arcs to customise our weapons and buildings. Once the code was posted on the Frontier forums community manager Will Flanagan responded saying that this was an error and that it's now been corrected. After the correction the metadata had had the words weapons and buildings removed. With Planet Zoo and the Ghostbusters expansion now confirmed this metadata correction all but confirms that the le original leak was genuine. Here's our take from all of this. I think it's safe to say at this point that the 2020 update is a space legs expansion to Elite Dangerous with base building and we'll be able to customise our first person shooter weapons and player owned buildings. Firstly let me say this. I'm of the considered opinion that Space Legs is absolutely the way Elite Dangerous should be going for its next expansion and I'm hilariously, ludicrously, maniacally excited about what that addition will bring to the game on its own. Coupled with player owned customisable bases I'm practically incandescent with excitement at the possibilities. Let's just be clear on that. I know a lot of people were hoping for atmospheric landings instead of space legs. I get that. I understand that. But the order would be illogical. Landing on a planet with atmosphere and then only being able to use an SRV on it would be frustrating and pointless. With the amount of information now in the community I wish Frontier would consider coming forward and start talking about this stuff sooner rather than later. I totally get that they want to maintain the hype train and the mystery but the secret is out there and it's been out there for some time to be honest. I feel the community would benefit from a bit of clarity about what is coming. People would I think be inclined towards a degree more patience if they had an idea of when and what they are waiting for. A lot of the negativity surrounding the game at the moment could be eased by clearer communication on the roadmap. The negativity is after all mostly just an outward expression of frustration. We all pretty much know what's coming at this point. Wouldn't it be great if we could all just start talking about it and getting excited already. But what do you guys think about this latest error? Is the space legs confirmed? Are you excited about the direction the game is headed? Sound off in the comments. In related news I now want a burr base. Just saying. That's it for now. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.